Okay. Well, my responsibilities as a teenager, about 17 years old, was, you know, was many fold. It, um, I was you know, watching my younger brothers, keeping an eye on them. I didn't have to babysit them. But I was also working, you know, cut the grass, take out the garbage, um, make your own bed, um, you know, help the neighbors out. We had fun in between, but you go to school all day long, come home, play sports, and then do whatever chores you had to do around the house. Sometimes even wash the dishes. We took turns doing that. And um, then when I started this, going from the small jobs to the larger jobs, you know, I uh, was putting money on the side, you know, to buy my first car and, you know, working the different jobs between cutting the grass and newspapers. And then I worked for the Little Sisters of the Poor. I uh, was working in their kitchen. And um, at that time, minimum wage was $1.60 an hour. You still were able to put money away. And I bought my first car. It was like, you know, $1,000. I paid my own insurance. I mean, responsibilities are, you know, for different people meaning different things, but paying your own bills, we, we paid our own bills. We didn't have any cell phones. We shared the, the family phone if we called out of the area because they used to have go by area codes. If you called out of your area code, then, you know, you incurred a phone bill. So we used to pay our own phone bills. And, um, you know, my father was working. My mother was working. So keep an eye on the house. Uh, did a lot of yard work, you know, help my parents out all the time. I mean, you have responsibilities in your generation too, but ours were, ours were very, very different than, than yours. Um, the family unit was different. My father worked three shifts. He was around. My mother didn't work until um, we uh, had gone, gone back to we were in school, and then she went to, then she went to work again. So uh, we all chipped in as a family unit to make things work. We didn't even think about it. We just did things. We weren't told to do things. We just did things. If the garbage can was in front of the house, we took in. If the garbage had to be put out, we put it out. If the grass had to be cut, we just cut it. You know, so the at an earlier age, we learned about responsibilities, about taking care of our own things. And then it just, you know, grows and grows, and you don't even think about it anymore. It becomes a very, very natural, you know, it's just a responsibility as a human being to, to contribute. So uh, that's what we did in, in terms of responsibility. We also looked after one another in the neighborhood and stuff too, which is kind of like a responsibility. Everybody stayed out of trouble because we were always involved playing sports or, or doing things together. And nobody had cell phones. We had, it was interesting, at that age we had um, uh, portable radios and you only had one earphone or you could listen to it just carried around because it was battery powered, you know, you would hear that. Um, so it's very different from today. Your communication was very different. You had to use a pay phone or you had to use the house phone. There were no, there were no cell phones. There were no beepers. There were no, you know, no electronic devices like that at all. Cable stations, you know, were few and far between. So uh, we spent a lot of time with one another. You know, so, but our response. Um, Vietnam, like I said before, the Vietnam War was in full swing. The country was very, very divided. Um, a lot of us thought we didn't belong there. Some people thought we belonged there. And some people defected and they called them traitors. So um, that was tough. My father was a veteran of World War II, so if I was drafted, I would have gone. I wouldn't even thought twice about it. Um, but um, it was something that was always in the back of your mind, where are you going to be called up to active service? And, you know, would you have to go? And the answer would have been yes if they called you. You know, but then um, when I graduated college, the Vietnam War was, was ending. Nixon brought everybody home. I won the lottery. My number was 267. So, even though I was drafted, and that they ran they ran the lottery, I came up with that number, so I didn't ha I didn't have to serve. So I was lucky I didn't have to serve, and then I finished school and I got out early. So, but the Vietnam War, I think, is was the single biggest factor in the last century that changed America drastically because it was a jumping point for um, the sexual revolution, the drug revolution, the, the music revolution. We went through a big transition period in, in Vietnam. People learned from um, the blacks how to demonstrate in Washington. And um, what Martin Luther King had done, they then took to Washington with the Vietnam War. So there was a lot of demonstrations all over the country, in your, in your own towns. Uh, some of us were part of it, some of us were not part of it. But you were very much aware of it in your daily life, every day. Every day you saw it on the news, every day you read it in the papers. Our media was newspapers and TV. I mean, today it's very different. You can get information anywhere you want. But you would constantly see it. Everybody knew the reference points because everybody used the same sources. You know, so it's, it had a tremendous impact on all of us. And a lot, some, a lot of people died. A lot of people died. A lot of people got maimed. 
Uh, a lot of people felt bad about what they were doing. And the country was divided for probably 20 years even after Vietnam because we had people in Canada that had defected. So it, it, it impacts you, but you don't think about it all the time, but it's there. You know, and um, I don't know if it had anything to do with my responsibilities. I mean, if I was called up, I would have gone as a responsible citizen. I, mean, I would have had, I would have had to serve. I mean, I would have been happy about fighting, but I would have done it if I had to. Yeah. No, but you could have. Um, you could have um, Two names, you could have hydrogen chloric acid or you could say hydrogen chloride. But when the hydrogen chloride gas gets dissolved, it's going to dissolve, it doesn't matter.